Some of New Zealand's finest livestock are paraded at the showgrounds in Hamilton during the royal tour of the North Island. Godfrey Bowen, world champion sheep shearer, demonstrates his art for the Queen, who shows such keen interest in the display that she asks for it to be repeated at a later date. A visit to Waraki, the most spectacular thermal region in the world, is on the royal itinerary. Escorted by a 58-year-old Maori woman guide called Rangi, the Queen and the Duke look down from a bridge over a pool warmed by the hot springs as Maori children dive for pennies. The group of geysers at Waraki spout boiling water into the air at intervals, and even the unpredictable Pohutu, the father of the geysers, obliges with a fountain of spray. The bubbling, hissing mud is mainly composed of sulphur. Carrying her movie camera, the Queen is guided by Rangi to the Champagne Pool. Known locally as a bottomless pool, it has resisted all attempts by scientists to probe its depth. Always their recording instruments were melted by the intense heat. Every few minutes, millions of tiny bubbles rush to the surface. Later, at Arawa Park in Rotorua, her Majesty and the Duke attend a great reception by 10,000 Maoris representing all the tribes in New Zealand. The Minister of Maori Affairs is with the Queen as she is challenged by a chieftain before entering the park. <laughs> Following ancient custom, the chief places a dart at the Queen's feet. This is designed to discover whether she is a friend or an enemy. The ceremony ends and the signal is given to the great throng that the Queen will move towards the Marae, the sacred Maori courtyard. Later, Her Majesty makes Maori history by being the first woman ever to speak from a Marae. <laughs> to the delight of the onlookers, the Queen accepts from the Maori Bishop of Aotearoa a korowai, a ceremonial cloak of fine flax fibre with tassels. This signifies the highest order of chieftainship. The Duke of Edinburgh now receives a karawai from the bishop. An uninvited guest on the Marae is four-year-old Esther Fawcett. Gently, the Queen indicates that she should remain to watch the ceremonies of dancing. In front of the Marae, 300 Maoris join in the combined poi dance, which tells how their ancestors came to New Zealand in great canoes more than 500 years ago. of the Queen, whom they call the rare white heron of the single flight, is one of the proudest moments in Maori history. In their own language, the Queen says, good luck and good day, as she leaves. Kia ora kutu.